All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to rebuild an EVAP canister or a charcoal canister or whatever you want to call it. Only if you can actually get yours open without destroying it. Uh, so what I did, uh, this one came out of a 95 blazer, is take a razor blade or a box cutter knife or whatever you got. It's real sharp. And slowly go around the seam where they sealed it. And after you get through it all the way around, and if it doesn't come off, you could take a flat blade screwdriver and just kind of push it in there and twist a little bit all the way around until it pops open. And then you'll be left with something similar, probably. It's like under spring tension. And it'll be filled with a bunch of uh, activated carbon or charcoal or, you know. Um, and this will be on top. Take that out, filter or whatever. Yours might be different. It'll be filled with a bunch of carbon in here. Just go ahead and empty it out. And then you'll see some filters at the bottom. Now, you'll need to replace these filters. Um, these are actually still decently good, um, but I'm still going to replace them. There's this little piece in here, a little filter. Might want to clean that out too. And then you can get this filter out. So take your filters out, still one in there, and then you're going to have to buy you some uh, activated carbon, some new stuff, uh, don't reuse the old, and you'll have to get you some, some type of filter material, I got some polyfiber, and I actually got a lot of it for six bucks. <laughs> you want something, you know, pretty much the same material as this really. Looks like it's just foam, but I mean this this fiber stuff here will work just fine. And then all you have to do is just cut them out, push them back in there, and then throw your carbon in here. I think I paid for everything, the filter material and this. I've already had the silicone to seal it back up with. You can also use a bunch of JB Weld or any kind of uh, sealer that you think will get this thing to stay on. Um, this and uh, that filter stuff. I think it was like less than 20 bucks on eBay. Got it within a week. So, pretty much all you do, just replace the filters down there. Clean it out real good. Put the carbon back in. Put your cap back in. Seal it up with JB Weld, or in my case, I'm just going to use some black adhesive sealant, silicone. So, I think that'll be just fine. And... Before you go and buy a bunch of carbon, you can actually just uh, take what you have out and weigh it, and then you can buy it by the pound. Mine weighed, uh, I think, one and a three quarter pounds, so I got a two pound bag, and yeah, that should fill it back up nicely. And there you go. I mean, that's pretty much how you rebuild one of these. Pretty simple, actually. I mean, only if you can actually get this thing open without, you know, damaging it. And you can rebuild it. So there you go.